I just want to take a quick minute to talk about something that's been racking my brain recently, and that's modern gaming. I originally had like a 10 minute script written for this, but honestly, I'm going to throw that out and just release this kind of moist critical-esque sit down and look at the camera and talk sort of video instead because it's a lot easier and I don't think I can properly put into written words how I feel because this entire thing has to come from the heart. So what I basically want to say, and I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible, is that modern gaming just fucking blows. It blows hot dick and I, that doesn't mean I hate video games because I love video games and I know all of you know that, probably all of you know that, most of you know that. But seeing the way video games are being handled now from the corporations that produce them and publish them to the games themselves and the marketing, it's just, it's sad. It really is. And, you know, this all started, I guess, with cyberpunk is when I started realizing there's a bit of a problem. Um, it... It, it sucks. It really does. Because I've seen some videos recently where people are like, they, they don't enjoy video games anymore. And that they're not the same. And I, I still love video games. I still have a lot of fun. Uh, I just... It, it, they are right in the sense... Like, I can see where they're coming from. They're right in the sense that they're not the same. Because the people behind these games clearly do not care about putting the effort into the craft anymore and that's why we get low quality shit like call of duty vanguard and battlefield 2042 and the gta trilogy remaster and all this other walmart bargain bin garbage that should be triple a shit when it comes out but they decide that the best course of action is to push it out early and then nourish it back to health later with like a series of electroconvulsive therapy and herbal remedies your grandma found on Pinterest that she believes will help you heal from the flu. It, it's, it's, it's wild. And <clears throat> I don't, I literally cannot, it's ineffable. It is ineffable how I feel about this. And it, it's, I don't know. <clears throat> like, it sucks. It really does. You know, uh, there's been like, like, I, I'm, I have like low hopes for any new games coming out now. Like I have much higher, like compared to this, like when it comes to better, good games coming out in 2021, right? Or modern, good modern games, or, you know, the belief in things like God or heaven and things like that. I'm going to take the latter because modern gaming has just proven to be such a massive dick in everyone's butthole that it's it's wild and it's heartbreaking um because this isn't what video games should be they should be finished they should be you know there should be the most amount of effort you can put into them and that's the problem because that's where it's lost on everyone is that these companies just they half ass it because they know that there's a bunch of milk drinking soy boys who will consume every product that's put in their face. It just makes it so easy for them to get away with this. And not to mention, you know, corporate abuse. And I, I don't really want to get into all of that, but, you know, we have Bobby Kotick and all of Activision. And then you have Blizzard as well, I guess. And then you also, you know, just recently have the. Uh, senior vice president of PlayStation or Sony or whatever like it's wild it is absolutely fucking bananas that this kind of thing has become a regular occurrence in the gaming industry and this is why I urge everybody watching this video don't like just quit video games out of spite but don't pre-order games don't buy them on release until there's enough review uh, content out there for you to make a decision based on and I know some people are gonna be like oh well you should play the game first but you're still gave your you still have to remember that in the you you're you have to give them your money to play the game so look at reviews from other people and see whether you think it's based on their reactions 
in the general consensus whether it's worth that money that they're charging you. And, you know, also think about who the money's going to. Like Activision. I'm not buying Activision games anymore. I'm not buying Rockstar games anymore. And I'm certainly not buying anything from Sony. You know, all three of them are just, like, it, it's the bottom of the barrel. And it's sad. You know, Rockstar used to be venerated for things like Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 4. And the reason I don't say 5 is because GTA 5 is a... is a it, It's been milked dry. I don't care about Grand Theft Auto 5. You know, people are talking about GTA 6. Apparently it's been confirmed. I don't care. I'm not interested. Because Rockstar's behavior and the way they've handled, you know, the uh, what the fans want and all that just ridiculous they don't care and that's why i don't care anymore mm -hmm. like it's wild and i'm sorry that this video is just coming off as really depressed or something like that but i have to get it out and this is the best way to get it out because i i tried scripting it i really did and i got like a t like 10 minutes worth of text and at the end of the day not even that you know, that doesn't even properly convey my emotions regarding this entire situation. So at this point, I just decided, I hopped on my computer, I turned on my webcam, and, you know, now I'm talking. Uh, but for those of you wondering, like, no, I'm not going to quit playing games, but I am going to quit buying them, like, on launch or anything like that. I don't have any hopes for Halo Infinite either. Um, I have kind of bad feelings about that. I, I don't know. That's just kind of how I am with every game. Because, like, I'm calling it right now. Like, every game released until January, at least, is going to be shit. At least every AAA game. Uh, I guess Resi 8 was a good exception. But still, like, for the most part, they're just shit. And, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry if this video comes off as weird. But I, I needed to get this out there. I just needed to state my opinion on it. Because I feel like it's a very important thing to talk about. And especially if you're a gamer, like I am. And, yeah, that's about it. See ya.